welcome. My name is Mike McDonald, coming out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And three closing questions you can use to help improve your closing ratios in network marketing. So uh, one thing that a lot of people don't seem to understand or make the mistake when they're new in the business is they try and you know convince everyone and sell everyone on why they need to get started. And so I don't know if you've had a presentation that you've done and the closing process takes like an hour, hour and a half and nothing ever happens. It's a think about it. It's a maybe. It's an I don't know. I'll get back to you. I got to talk to my wife. Whatever it is. It takes forever. And when it comes down to it, that person wasn't really a qualified prospect to begin with. So quick closing questions that you can ask right away. Um, the first thing you want to ask is, you know, awesome. What did you like best about what you saw? Because uh, you want to know what they're excited about. If they're like, I hate this, this is stupid. It's probably not a good prospect. You should just move on. So, um, you know, what did you like best about what you saw? You find out a little bit about that. You can ask them a little more on that. And then you can say, great, you know, do you see an opportunity with us? So, again, if someone's excited, they're going to be like, yeah, that I, I do. It makes sense, you know. And if they're not really into it, they're probably going to say, no, I really don't. Or they're going to say an objection. You can try and overcome that if you'd like. And again, but if they say no, they're probably not really a good prospect. You know, you're sorting, not selling. When you're talking about your products, you know, you at that point, you may be like, cool, you know, well, the product obviously makes sense. Most people get started with at least that. You know, which level makes sense to you to get started with? So you can just lead into the product. You know, the business probably isn't for them at that point. So if you ask, you know, uh, again, do you see an opportunity with us? And they say no, you know, done, <laughs> move on, you know, sort, not sell. So again, the next one is great. Can you take, can you afford to take advantage of it? So again, it's like, great. Um, if they say, yes, I see an opportunity with you guys and you say, awesome. Can you afford to take advantage of it? So a lot of times people get the money objection. And if you ask if they can afford it, uh, again, a lot of times people are like, yeah, or they mentally process in their brain well, I could move this around, I could do this, I could put it on this credit card, you know, I could borrow some money and do it this way. Like they start to brainstorm ways in their mind of how they could afford it when you ask them that. And a lot of times people don't like to respond, oh, I couldn't afford that. Like it, it sounds it sounds lame. You know, people don't really like to admit that. So if you ask them, great, can you take can you afford to take advantage of it? Uh, most people will say yes. So it's another bonus for you. And then the next one is great. Awesome. So you're ready to get started. And again, they say yes or no. Maybe they have different objections. You can overcome that, answer those questions. But again, I would stick to those three uh, questions. It's pretty simple to walk people through. If you're not really well versed in overcoming objections and answering questions, uh, it's a very simple way to tell if someone's excited and they're ready to go and they're ready to get started. And again, it's a sorting business, not a selling business. So those are probably the best people that you want to work with. If they answer yes to all three of those, it's like, all right, cool, let's go. You know, let's get you in the system. Let's help you get rolling and let's start doing this. So three simple questions you can ask people after the presentation. So again, uh, do you see an opportunity with us? Can you afford to take advantage of it, and are you ready to get started? So very simple process you can walk people through. So, you know, again, hopefully you guys got value out of this. And if you'd like to learn some more different ways you can close people, maybe they do have objections, different ways you can eliminate that, uh, be sure to head to coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash closing. We've got a training over there. I go through seven proven steps to closing in network marketing. So if you don't like this way, doesn't really feel well for you, whatever the case is, you want to learn some more skills and some different ways that you can approach closing in your business, head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash closing and take advantage of that training. But again, thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.